Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil does an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter, folks. You come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go into newsletters. You're going to see it right on the left-hand side, the opening call. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You can get it for six months for $6.95, which is a savings of $199 at 22%. And you get it for one full year for, for a, a price point of $11.95, which is a savings of $593 at 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks. And what Basil has, he's done many workshops. You have approximately 10 to 12 beautiful archives there that you can go through. You'll really get to understand how Basil looks at the market each and every day. Basil Chapman, how you doing? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing good. I, I heard you, you had a nice weekend. I was listening to you this morning, and you were listening to the orchestra. Was it, was it, uh, was it the, oh, what was it? What were you listening to? It's very interesting. The Metropolitan Opera has a live HD, high definition, uh, they, they video it at the same time. Wow. So that it gets broadcast around the world. So you don't have to go to the Met. You don't have to spend your 400 bucks a seat or whatever it is. You can just go here. In fact, in Chestnut Hill, is a really nice cinema. That's great to know, man. seats and all that stuff. And we were sitting there watching the opera. It was a really Oh, so really you went nice. to the cinema at, at Chestnut Hill Mall? So we go to the cinema and you got this huge screen. And of course, it's like sport. You know, when you're looking at sport and you're up in the beaches, you can barely see. But when you're, you have to be up close and that's very different. That so is so cool. They, they focus on the soprano and the tenor and the bass. No, and they, I, listen, yeah. I, right when you were saying it, I said, I, I like going to, you know, football games live. But the reality is, is that it's pretty hard to get away from the screen because the cameras have got so good, man, that you're sitting yeah, at home. So good, like, yeah, right. exactly. And, the, and they pick up the nuances that you really can't see if you're too far away. You know, I don't know if you saw this this morning. One of our Tigers folks, he's an amazing sax player. In fact, he, he sold the first one million album uh, singles as a jazz player. His name's Charles Lloyd. He got man of the year in Europe. He's on the, That's he's fantastic. on the, you see that in the, the den this I, morning? I, I missed, he played in uh, Boston last year. I just At, missed him. I was yeah. out, out of town when he played. Fabulous. You're going to have to see him next yeah. time. He's amazing. He's, he, he, pull up his website, folks. It's Charles Lloyd. He's, he's freaking amazing, Charles man. Lloyd. It's awesome. Yeah, everyone talks about him. He's really terrific. Okay, what are we doing? Let's so go. So market-wise, talking about terrific, we had a really terrific move in the Dow from the 200 period exponential moving average. I thought I'd just show this just as, for folks who are listening for the first time or maybe don't know what I do. I try to identify the lowest low bar with certain techniques and then I count each successively higher peak. And the idea is that if you get that turn around that I, that initial low isn't taken out, you count each wave and I alphabetize them sequentially on the upside, A, B, C, D, E, F, G and on the downside. But it's that fourth highest peak, peak D, where other things can happen. So the target is start off and then you try to see if there's an upgrade from a buy signal to a buy mode. The moment I mentioned buy mode, or well, there's an up arrow, it says that you should be at least four higher peaks. Well, if you look at the Dow in the daily chart, at that peak D that was made back December the 1st, it pulled back and then just barely made a peak E at 34,712. Then it came tumbling down and it hit one of the techniques I use it. I like to for, and I, I teach us to subscribers, I say, just put it on your chart. You don't have to use it until you need it. Well, the 200 period moving average over here, when it was at the high, you just, you didn't need it at all. As it came down, look how it held beautifully. So the idea is to count each successively peak. Well, we got to that peak D right there, 34,342 on Friday. To, and I, I said to subscribers, We've got to be a little careful here. There's a rotation going on. I would like to see the semiconductors, the QQQ, the index 100, that is, and the IWM start to show some support. The, the S&P is doing okay, but if we can see the others join in, maybe the Dow has a little bit of a pullback as we start to uh, see the others strengthen. I think that's kind of what we're seeing here. Look, here's your peak D in the daily chart. We've only got a B in the weekly chart, and it's above all that resistance. I call that the inside track repellent, propellant line, and there it is, pushing higher. But if you look at the S&P, you will see that the S&P has still not been able to break above the uh, 
the weekly resistance level. And what's interesting is stopped dead at the 200 period moving average. Look at this little doji candle right on the 200 period moving average right. at 39.94.55 right now. We're down 4.50, which is really interesting for those Goldman Sachs and uh, travelers are, are the, the weak links in the Dow, really dragging them down. But look at this, holding right at D. But the technicals, that's what I've been saying. And when I did my uh, overview, my weekly overview for subscribers on, my, on the weekend, I go through all these different things and what we're looking at to try to build up a portfolio for this first quarter of the year. I said that the technicals are strong. Look, the MACD is very strong. Stochastics at 94%. That is really good. On balance volume is lagging a little bit. Yeah, this little gray line is the relative strength. So a lot of action in the, in the S&P has said that we're getting confirmation in the daily chart. But look at the weekly chart. It just cannot yet get through that resistance line, that inside track repellent zone. So that's going to be very important. By Friday this week, I would like to see the S&P at least in the 4050s, 4050s. That'll be important. The other thing I want to do, I mentioned this last week, so I'll, I'll do this again. <clears throat> the rotation is fascinating. Look at this. Van Eck Vector Steel ETF. He has the monthly chart. Look how strong it is, considering that was the high, uh, or that was the high of uh, April at 70.43. And here it is at 64.83. It's only six points off the all-time high. But the weekly chart is very strong in leg C. And the daily chart is very strong in leg C. So it's really important, I think, not to have just an overall conception of what you, if you're reading in the papers about the market, that everything... It's not that everything's terrible. There are some areas which we try to be in which are working very nicely. And there are other areas that you, you've got to just be very careful and very selective. So that, And look at this one, PAVE. Mm. This is an ETF we've been following for a long time. Global X U.S. Infrastructure Development. Look at that. Here's the monthly chart, very close to the all-time highs. Daily chart, made a peak D, now it's stalling. Still acting very well, and a leg C in the daily. We should still get to a D. So, uh, there's certain sectors that I think are really important to monitor. Uh, you were talking about the dollar just a, a moment ago, but let me just go to gold for a minute and show you that the strength in gold is it's been consistent. Look at the weekly chart. Every single week, this for this little there's a peak A. It made a low. This is gold itself on the continuous contract. In November, November, the week of the 4th, at 1633, this is a continuous contract. And look, each give back of the peak has just been a, almost like a little a breather. If, uh, like yes, a like nothing. Stop. Yeah, right. Yeah. So I think that that's very important. So uh, once again, you know, we do look at the dollar, uh, and we are actually still long the dollar from 2018. But look at this dollar pulling back sharply from the 114 high. But I've been, I've been, and on my show tomorrow, I'll show how many times so many of the indexes and so many of the stocks and so many of the key are, are testing the left side lows almost to the penny. Look, 101.30 back in June, and here we are at 102. Fascinating. Folks, come over to our website at TFNN. Go to the newsletters. You see Basil's newsletter open and call right on the left-hand side. Basil, have a great one, safe one. We look forward to show tomorrow. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. To come right back.